Hey everybody, it's Vox of Craze here, and welcome to episode 7 of Lumpia Craft. I'm really excited to get started today. Uh, last episode we worked on these walls that you see behind us, and we worked on this platform here, uh, which is really nice, it's really cool. Um, one unexpected surprise for me was that the waterfalls, or water features here, had been actually spawning squids. Um, so we've been getting a lot of ink sacks. I'm starving. So we've been getting a lot of ink sacks. We have 31 so far. And every time I kind of sign on, um, and if the guys have been on, I see little ink sacks floating here. Um, so it's a good way to get, get ink sacks if we ever need them. Which is, which is always nice, you know? Um, I know I said today we were going to be working on the entrances to our, our underground here. But um, what I decided to do here, instead of having a stairway up, is that we are actually going to make this into a slime block elevator of some sort. Um, which I think will be a lot more useful. It'll save space. Oops. It'll save space and, and whatnot. But um, unfortunately, I don't have the supplies I need yet for that. Um, I don't have enough slime blocks, and I haven't designed the mechanics for the slime block elevator yet. So I think we're going to have to wait and put this off to another day. Um, for now, the spiral dirt staircase is it's kind of going to have to do. Um, what I thought we'd work on instead is our spiral staircase going down to the bottom of this. Uh, just because right now we are using the uh, ladder right now still. And while that works, um, it's not, you know, it's not very visually pleasing and it takes kind of a while, you know. Um, so I figured we, we'd make a way down, um, as I said in previous episode, um, we're going to have a, a platform at each of the flat sided of the walls as it's spiraling down. Obviously it's not going to be one on this level, but as it spirals down and it gets to the wall on that side, there will be a, a platform. And these platforms, I think, are going to be what houses are, like storage stuff, um, where we can make potions, and that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is we are going to get started on that. Um, I will bring you back when I've made some progress, and we'll go from there. Alrighty. All right. So I'm having a horrible time at this in that I have now fallen off and died maybe about four times now. Um, the first few times were very up there, and then yeah, I just keep I just keep falling. It's kind of horrible. Um, if you notice in the last clip, I started with 20 levels of XP. I am now down to two. And I had just died again right before I decided to start recording because a creeper spawned on the staircase somewhere. And I was running away from it and I wasn't watching where I was going and I fell off again! Ugh. This is going horribly, guys. But as you can see, I have finished one side of the spiral staircase down. Um, so it starts up there, and it goes all the way around, and each alcove right now looks like this. Um, I'm thinking about pushing it back, back more, and maybe doing little, like, hallways and things for my storage stuff. Um, just be prepared. I, I didn't actually kill the creeper. I don't know if he despawned or not. Um, I kind of, there he is. Yeah. Do I have bows? I do have bows. Okay. Let's see if I can get him in the foot. Yeah. Stay away. Stay. I missed. Stay away. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this side going down. And then I'm hoping after that we can get started on some of these walls. Or we can start doing some of the... Um, some of the some of the storage areas just so that I can get all my chest... Um, off this platform because it looks really ugly and also the chests that are in the tower just because I'm getting tired of having to go up and around into the tower and then up on come back down if I need wood or that kind of stuff so I'm gonna get started on that or I guess I'll finish that not get started on that and then we'll see from there where where we go all right guys I managed to get through the second 
spiral staircase without dying again. So today's death count remains at four, I guess. But um, I think it's looking pretty good. Um, I really like the way it spirals down. Um, I think it, this this kind of view right here is looking really good. Um, I might go back up into the ceiling part and um, add some more leaves just to the center part so it'll dangle down a little bit further. Um, I think that will add a lot to it. Um, but yeah, that's for, that's for another day. Um, for right now, I'm thinking we are going to start moving some of our chests um, out of the kind of platform area and out of the tower. And that means that we have to make space for them. So I'm thinking, um, hmm. So the problem is that one si if I make one side like the storage stuff, I make the other side kind of the other more doable stuff like enchanting or potion making. Um, all that's fine. It's just that I'm going to have to figure out a way to differentiate which side I'm going down. Um, which I will probably do up in this area over here, um, right where the staircases are. Let me remove that. I was doing that f to tell which side I had already completed. All right, but up here, I think in this this flat area is where I'm going to put something so that I can tell which side is which. Um, otherwise, I would have to dif or differentiate it by the color clay in the ground, I think. But I think I really want to keep it all orange, just to keep it all uniform. So I think we're going to do that. Um, so we'll, we'll probably dig dig these out and sort them by like your everyday blocks, like cobble, stone, sand, that kind of stuff. And we'll probably have another one that's more like the valuables, like iron, diamonds, um, redstone maybe even. Or maybe redstone will have its own because redstone has a quite a few quite a few options in itself um, and then we could do another one that's just like armor or weapons or armor and weapons um, so I think we're gonna do that so let me get started on one of these uh, maybe designing it bringing some stuff down and I'll bring you back in it's a squid oh squid died pooey all right guys I've moved most of my stuff um, this room is gonna be just building blocks kind of things so and I haven't finished obviously um, I have to do about another stack of trapped chests still and um, I just I mean most of these chests aren't even full yet so th I didn't really see a point in doing them right away um, but over here we have this row is all smooth stone so you can see we have about about five chests full I guess four and a half um, these three rows one two and three um, are filled with oh hi Trevor Wildshell are filled with cobblestone. I literally have fourteen and a half chests filled with cobblestone. So when the guys watch this, if you need cobblestone, by all means, take the cobblestone. So we still have a lot to do in the space. Um, we have spooky spooky sounds. Um, we still have the slime slime elevators to do on both ends. Uh, we still have the roof to do in this room, in this platform area. Uh, I added the trim earlier, uh, just kind of bringing out what I did in here. Um, I'd have no idea what I'm going to do with the roof. And then the major thing, we also have all these walls to do, which is a lot of wall space because we have all that. And then we have all of this. So that's going to be a major project, I think. Uh, we'll probably have to set aside its own episode for that. Um, or I can just do one chunk of it and then do the rest off camera. It kind of ends. We'll see how interesting it is, I guess. But, um, and then I don't know if I want all, of, all of the rooms to kind of look the same. That might get a bit annoying and repetitive. So, um, if you guys have any ideas, please, please let me know. Oh, I didn't finish that one. But, um, the best way to probably let me know would be my Twitter. Um, I am at VoxelCraze. Easy to remember because it's the same as my YouTube name. So um, there's that. And then we have to actually design the exterior of our slime elevator. And then lastly, you know, I'll probably do this off camera, but I did mention that we have to expand this down. Um, I'm, 
I'm just going to kind of make it into a cone -ish shape, I guess. And the center part will be slower. It'll probably go down to this platform, maybe, or halfway between these two platforms. Um, that's that's still debatable. Look, we made another squid grinder thingy. There's a squid back there. Can you see it? Swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> Anyways, is there one on the side, too? No. No. Oh, well, just that side. But at least this one, it won't die because it can't get out, at least. Which is cool. You know, hi Squid. I should I should name tag him if I had a name tag. Uh, but for the rest of the episode, what I thought we would do is, um, as I mentioned, you know, making it obvious what side is what. So this side, I think, is the storage side. Yeah, that's the storage room. So I wanted to make something here that would make it obvious to be like, bam, you know, this is the storage side. Let's go down that way, or that's the side we want. So... Um, I'm going to see if I can gather a few materials and come up with a little bit of design to see uh, what we can do to make, say, you know, this is the storage side. Alright guys, I gathered up some yellow stained clay and some dark oak wood and a light gray banner. I don't know if this is going to work, but I was thinking about making a double chest. But... Um, I only have an 8x4 area to do it, so it's going to be a very minimal chest, um, if anything. I, I don't know if this will turn out right at all. And, and of course, I did not gather enough clay. I need double the amount that I had. Be right back. Alright. It's, it's definitely yellow. Um, and then we're going to do a... Oh, that might not work. That kind of blends in. We'll try it. We'll see how it looks. Um, and another problem I'm realizing is that I can't do just half of this. So we'll probably have to go into the wall to do the sides of of the chest. And my axe broke earlier, so I don't. Ha I didn't make a new one yet. So let's do this. Mm -mm -mm. And bam. Bam, 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 oops, bam, bam, bam. All right, how does that look so far? Eh, yeah, no, that's not bad. Let's add a thing going across. And I also just realized that this is an even number thing again, and I only brought one banner. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that ain't going to fly too well. Though I do kind of like like the look of it, but it's it's off center. I don't know what to do, guys. Uh, what do you It would be perfect if it was odd. I could I could make it odd. I know I no, I really can't make it odd. Um You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of the minions from Despicable Me. Ah! I think, I think we're going to have to leave it as the back of a chest or whatever you want to call it I don't know can we like we did this yeah no I just can't it looks like uh, that one-eyed minion with just a unibrow going across it doesn't it I mean it looks nothing like that <laughs> Ah, oh, dang it.
Um, I think that's the best I'm going to do. <laughs> um, there's really not much else. Um, I'm going to have to figure out something to do with the extra block or, or row or whatever or something. I guess it would be this one. This one's covering up the wood. I just, it, that's really going to bug me. So it's probably not going to stay. Um, and the yellow, I think it's the yellow that's making it look like a minion. It still kind of looks like a minion to me. So, unfortunately, that is all the time I have for today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, minus the minion-looking chest eye thing. You know. As I said, if you have ideas, please please tweet me them. I would love to hear ideas. Because I have no idea what to do with an even 8x4 space. Um, but yeah, that's all the time I have today. So, uh, thanks again for watching. If you did like the episode, please feel free to share or favorite. Um, if you really liked it, please subscribe, because we'd really appreciate it. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Chicken? -bye.